So when you decide that you're going to examine the ear, first of all we go to examine the external ear. And this consists of the pinna. So just to recap the anatomy of the pinna, there's the tragus, the antitragus, the helix, the antihelix, and of course the earlobe. When you're examining the external ear, you look, particularly in children, for the presence of maybe a pit or sinus, so-called preauricular sinus, or you may see evidence of previous surgery with an endoral scar, or behind the ear, a so-called postural incision. Behind the ear, you're also examining for the presence of the postural sulcus, which can be obliterated in an acute mastoiditis. So once you've examined the skin as well to make sure that there's no skin lesions, particularly squamous cell carcinomas or basal cell carcinomas in the elderly, we want to examine the ear canal. There are two speculums available. There's a small one, which is ideal for children or for adults with narrow ear canals. And then there's a standard size, which we can use for most adults. And this gives the best view. When you use the otoscope, you don't want to be holding it like a hammer or a dagger, but instead hold it like a pen. And you can see that I protrude my little finger. And the idea is that will rest on the patient's zygoma. The idea there is that you have a nice platform so that, particularly in children, if they move, you move with them. When you insert the otoscope, you pull the pinna backwards and slightly upwards, looking as you go to insert. You do not want to touch the ear canal skin because this is very tender. You then gradually insert looking at the full circumference of the ear canal to determine if there's any infection or discharge present. And then if the ear canal is free of wax and other debris, you should be able to see the eardrum. So once you've finished examining the right ear, you will then move on to examine the left ear. Again, you go through the same process for examining the external ear and then the ear canal. And to do that, you use your left hand and hold it as we did before, like a pen with a little finger protruding.